NVIDIA has just released a new driver. This is version 5.7216, and they also have updated their NVIDIA app. And this is for their launch of the RTX 50 series video cards. So let's dive into this now. So for RTX 50 owners, the update enables DLSS for multi-frame generation in 75 games, promising up to four times the frames per second improvements. Keep in mind, these are fake frames from my perspective, and a lot of other people will agree with that, I don't use them myself personally because they just look off and blurry and all the rest of it. The new driver also brings enhanced DLSS frame generation, lower VRAM usage, faster execution, and flip metering for smoother frame pacing. And there's some good news here for older card owners, namely the RTX 20 and 30 series cards. They receive enhanced ray tracing reconstruction, a beta version of super resolution, and a beta version of DLAA or deep learning anti-aliasing, all available when enabled in supported games. As well, the updated NVIDIA app allows users to override in-game frame generation with the latest version, even if the game hasn't implemented it. While this doesn't give the 40 series cards access to multi-frame generation, it does upgrade their existing frame generation to the newest model. As well, VSR or video super resolution sees improvements using up to 30% fewer GPU resources at its highest quality settings, making it accessible to more GPUs. Now, if you are lucky enough to own an RTX 5090 or a 5080, you will gain access to another technology. This one is called smooth motion, and it's basically frames generated between frames but ai technologies like this are here to stay and really this is the future companies are going to be using ai to really make their hardware perform better i say that lightly because when you use these technologies they are kind of faking it and for now, you can see the difference, or at least I can. I don't use these technologies because, like I said, it makes the games look just a little bit off. But, but in a few years, maybe the human eye won't be able to even tell. Now, I would be interested to know your thoughts on this new NVIDIA driver, version 57216. I did head over to a Reddit post, and, you know, like most new NVIDIA drivers, there's people who love the driver it works great for them and others that you know it's crashed their computer system so you know let us know what you think of this driver if you've tried it 